Okay, then. In today's video, we're gonna go over everything that you need to know about Dokumori. So that being said, let's get into it. Starting with Dokumori's typing len, it is an Earth Toxic type Lumion, which means defensively we are weak to water, earth, ice, and mind. And then we resist air, toxic, and brawler by two times, and we're also immune to electric. And then offensively, we can hit fire, electric, metal, toxic, water, plant, and brawler, all for super effective stab damage. Next up, let's go over the base stats, which Dokumori has 88 health, 101 energy, 101 melee attack, 96 melee defense, 40 range attack, 70 range defense, and 59 speed. Which, as you can tell, yeah, that range attack stat isn't really going to be useful. And yes, its speed is on the slower side, so a lot of things can outspeed it. But its overall bulk with its health, melee defense, and range defense are all very respectable, so it can take quite a few hits. Also, it has a very good energy stat. 101 is pretty down insane. That is well above average, and that means even at level 50, it can spam quite a lot of moves. And with its 101 melee attack stat, it can output some pretty nice damage without really needing to invest into it that much, especially because it's, you know, offensive typing is pretty nuts. Next up, let's go over the abilities, which the first ability is Spine Break, which is a brand new ability, and if you have this ability, if the opponent attacks you with a contact-based move, it will lay a layer of poison barbs on the opponent's side of the field, which can stack on top of each other for a maximum of two layers. And if the opponent switches, if the Lumion isn't a toxic or air type, they will be poisoned, which then the type of poison depends on how many layers are set up. If one layer is set up, you'll be inflicted with normal poison, and if two layers are set up, it is going to be toxic poison instead, which does more and more damage over time. The second ability is Immunize, which just makes the user immune to status ailments like Paralyze, Poison, Burn, Freeze, and Sleep. Although Dokumori is already immune to Paralyze and Poison because of its typing. And then the final ability, the secret ability, is Sponge, which is another brand new ability, which makes the user immune to water type attacks. And if it is hit by one, it won't take damage and it will actually restore some health back instead. Moving on to the moves, starting with the level of moves, Dokan gets access to Stare, Sting, Burrow, Toxic Tail, Clay Slap, Headbutt, Baffle, Aqua Jaws, Quicksand, and Venom Chomp. Then it'll evolve into Dokumori at level 33, which will get the Evo move Icicle Trap. Then it'll get Tamp, Earthquake, and Baneful Bash. Which, yes, unfortunately, Dokumori doesn't get access to any brand new moves that I have to explain, which is mostly due to me just not really thinking of any moves that Dokumori could get. And at the same time, I honestly think Dokumori is going to be completely fine without a brand new move. It looks like it's going to be pretty good in general anyway. But now for the other moves, starting with the move manuals, the MMs, we get Dodge, Ill Will, Maroon, Bulk Up, Plunge, and Muspider. And then for Rally moves, we get access to Muck Blast and Landslide. And with all of that out of the way, that is everything that you need to know about Dokumara.